How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Can You Upload Your Mind and Live Forever by In A Nutshell. Alright, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt as I did the previous video, it's because I am recording these the same day. My daughter's birthday party is going to be this weekend, which already passed for y'all guys, so uh, hence the same shirt. But anyway, uh, on to this video. It's... I can't help but feel... Well, first of all, I don't know anything, anything about the new Cyberpunk game. Like, I know nothing. I know that Keanu Reeves is in it. That's literally it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you could upload your mind and live forever. That's like the premise of the game. That's what I'm assuming, putting two, two and two together here. But uh, if y'all guys remember that game Soma, you do the same thing in that game. And that's what, when I read this title, that's what popped up into my mind was the Soma. Like, that's what you do in Soma. You upload your mind into the Ark, and then the Ark gets shot in the space, and then you technically live forever inside the computer. But, um... Very interested to see how this is, uh, knowing in a nutshell, like it's going to get very scientifical. So I cannot wait about that. About that, that grammar. I love grammar so much. So <laughs> without any further ado, here is: Can you upload your mind and live forever? The desire to be free. That animation, the though. Experience is as Ooh. old as our first stories. I love we it. Exist in an endless universe, only okay. bound by the laws of physics. And yet, our consciousness is psychedelic, in bro. made of meat. With the breathtaking explosion of oh. innovation and progress, like the music. for the first time, the concept like of cyberpunk leaving music our flesh kind of sounds behind and uploading our minds into a digital utopia seems possible. Even like the logical like the next pulse. step on our evolutionary ladder. Mind uploading and digital immortality are some of the core themes of the game Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you. It plays in a grim dystopian future. See, put two and two together. Far I know what they're talking about. Technology and explores what this could mean for Mind humanity. your business. About a year ago, yeah, you go punk rock bird. Asked if we would like to I think. make a video about some of these ideas. And Keanu Reeves, I think. <laughs> so, let's explore this topic together. Is it possible to upload your mind into a computer? Yes. Well, <laughs> it's complicated. Let me hear it. Okay, I was kind of wondering if they do the same intro or not. I'm glad they did. I love their intro. Upload what exactly? Mind Brain? is one of those words that are really hard to define. It's thought to be the collective ability. Are you your of brain or is your brain you? And intelligence, the thing that lets you imagine, recognize, and dream. Mind uploading is the hypothetical concept of making a copy of this inner world and transferring it into a computer to Whoa. run a simulation of your consciousness. That is awesome. But even defining the premise gets really hard, really fast. The possibility Are you okay? of mind uploading is based on three assumptions. Assumption one, your mind is in your brain's structure, arrangement, and biochemistry. Cool. The idea Why that everything about the mind can be found in the brain is called physicalism and it keeps our discussion physicalism. within the domain of natural law assumption two at some point we it's will understand ability. the brain well enough and possess the technology to simulate all of its aspects to make a digital mind copy nice. assumption three computer software can host your mind okay. which means the mind is computable there is no physical property is that a in the brain, fact? including consciousness, that no, it has be simulated electric stuff going up in there, but... requires a lot of code. All of these assumptions have been proposed and challenged by scientists and philosophers, and they remain the subject of passionate debate. With so many fundamental questions still I can't unanswered, read that. <laughs> it's hard to discuss the topic without annoying someone. Whatever your position, every discussion of mind upload Here's has begun word. with the brain. The brain in a nutshell. Uh. <laughs> the brain is the most complex biological structure known and deserves its own entire video. So yeah. let's just take a brief look at it. Around one multiple videos, if you please. Are communicating I love the via brain. One million billion connections that are sending signals up to 1,000 times each second, which is one quadrillion events every second of your Bro. waking life. And it's not just neurons, there are billions of supporting and immune cells 
of various types. Really like the soundtrack jobs. in this video. On a macro level, the brain can be divided in two sections with different roles, from breathing and heart rate to coordinating movement and involuntary reflexes. Ooh. The most developed parts, the neocortex or the outermost layer of the brain, hold memories, our ability to plan, think and imagine, hope and dream. Where there no exactly hope is in there. Oh, makes sense. The brain is situated is not entirely clear. We know that areas like the precuneus cortex have the greatest influence on our consciousness, but also that several areas can network together to share tasks none of them can do alone. Uh huh. The brain's building blocks are not exactly simple either. Neurons are not That's just so wires; cool, they alter and process information. Synapses, where signals are handed over from one neuron to the next contain receptors for hundreds of chemical signals, opening them up to outside influence. We have a basic understanding of how these work, and we can accurately predict their behavior at small scales, but there's a lot more to the brain than just nerve signals. Hormones play a huge role, like serotonin, which affects our mood. That's what teens are dum-dums. <laughs> a lot of hormones, hormones going on. Influenced by our other parts too, from heart nerves to gut bacteria. What seemed like a very complicated word, system bacteria. to begin with gets even more complicated the more we learn about it. To get this wildly interconnected mess of cells and meat and chemicals into a computer, gonna be okay this we need time. a model that we can simulate in our digital world. Some sort like of avatar. scan. Unfortunately, our scanning technology, like fMRI machines, oh, is God. not nearly good enough get her to out of there. such a thing. But there is a different method that oh. seems very promising. Oh. Cutting the brain into tiny slices and scanning them with a high-resolution electron microscope to create an Ooh. accurate map of all the cells and connections. In 2019, Digitally? scientists successfully made really a cool. cubic millimeter of mouse brain, roughly the size of a big grain of sand. It can so, 100,000 <laughs> neurons with Dang. a billion synapses and four kilometers of nerve fibers. Bro, this grain of brain was cut grain into 25,000 slices. Five electron microscopes ran continuously for five months, collecting more than 100 million images. Don't stare at that. <laughs> it took three months to assemble the images into a 3D model. The completed data set fills up two million gigabytes of cloud storage. To scan a whole human brain, we would have to repeat this effort a million times, which is much easier said than done. Bro, worse, to I love the brain. <laughs> We might even have to map out much smaller building blocks to include the billions of underlying proteins or even individual molecules that cause yeah, all the behaviors we see at the cellular level, which might produce more data than the capacity of all data storage on Earth. Brain water to consciousness wine. While all of these I issues like are annoying, the real question is how we turn the static blueprint of the brain into an active thing. Even if we have a scan, down to the level of synapses, we need laws and rules that animate the wiring diagram to endow this static structure with life, update it with the various laws of chemical binding, of electrodynamics... Gotta also comment, the visualization the in this video is really so awesome too. a dynamic active thing like a brain that exists from one microsecond to the next that can evolve in time, think, see and act. The reality is that we just don't know if this is possible to achieve. If our technology can give that rise bad? to That's real bad. Rights, That's very bad. It all hinges on the nature of the problem. Are the brain and mind just complicated and a lot of work to figure out? Or are they complex in a way that we can't solve? In the worst case, consciousness is more than the sum of the parts Whoa. of the brain in a way that we don't realize yet. Complex in a way that we can't solve by getting better scans. Just having a list of the ingredients might not be enough to get a good consciousness cake. Consciousness right now, cake. We have a great starting it. point with tangible scientific results and an end goal, but the road to true simulation is She's unclear, been through enough. And requires a Stop. lot of innovation <laughs> and research. That Humans that have went historically good. been horrible at predicting the pace of progress. In the best case, it's just a matter of doing the work and finding the right solutions. It might not be necessary to simulate every last cell down to the last atom. Instead, it may be possible to simplify elements into probabilistic models that could match the behavior of the brain using a more manageable number of simpler systems. 
so we really don't know if we will ever understand our brain and consciousness well enough to upload human minds. But the science is real and worth pursuing. At the very least, we will just Brains learn out. a lot about ourselves and develop a bunch of new technologies. Anti-anxiety headband? If we succeed, this might yeah. put mind uploading well within the capabilities of our rapidly progressing computer technology. The consequences for humanity and our future in this universe are vast, creepy, and amazing. The copy. The copy. Successful mind uploading oh. is functional immortality. We going on Matrix Damaged here? or deleted, you will continue to exist as long as a copy is stored somewhere. Of yeah. course, if the scan is corrupted in any of a myriad of ways, your mind might get corrupted too. You might be in yes, an eternity but... of pain or paranoia or having an endless psychotic breakdown. Like a really the bad trip. If this digital mind is you opens another whole can of worms. For now, we'll just assume that your digital mind at least feels like it's you. How would mind uploading change your outlook on life? But, but you won't control it. Knowing that death is not necessarily the end. Or would you try to be super safe to avoid dying before your mind is uploaded? If scanning technology does become advanced enough, your biological and digital versions could coexist. Yeah. You could help I each other think. out by making your just some music making me agree to everything. Like, yeah, let's do it. Of the copy more secure. Whatever happens, your mind copy will begin a completely new life once it opens their digital oh. eyes for the first time. Having a functional body is those are supposed to be a little nice, more straight than that. You're pretty used to it. Ooh, Food, burger. love, pain and exhaustion. All of these things are parts of us that we must live with. But in the end, they are the result of neurons firing in your brain. Oh, that is cool. So while you could decide They're to live so in a cute. simulated body, it might be optional for a digital mind. Falling in love might lose meaning if you can have it at the press of a button. Yeah. Instead, you might end up searching for new extraordinary experiences. Drugs. Walk on the surface of the sun. I... Speed up time to skip past a few boring months. You're going way up there, man. I was going a little. Past. Your perspectives and priorities will change as you continue to exist in this liberated form. I mean, that's pretty cool. The longer digital minds exist, eventually they will likely gain greater knowledge of themselves and an ability to change their own Whoa. context. This can be as simple as deleting a memory that bugs you. You might change aspects of your personality, like grudges, addictions, or laziness. What? Without the constraints of biology, addictions, you your abilities might I didn't move say drugs as technology progresses, while your priorities or goals might become more. God, this video is so cool. Your original brain, if it's still alive. Oh. Waking up to the I don't true like potential that. of digital immortality will be gradual. You can start projects that would take more than a lifetime to complete. Scientists could accumulate Whoa, an incredible buddy. amount of knowledge, leading to discoveries that could revolutionize the world. Nice. Adventurers could upload themselves onto small spaceships and embark on journeys to the stars, just putting themselves on pause for thousands of years at a time. Got a good point. Although it's unlikely that every digital mind will work for the benefit of humanity, since our current meat versions don't do that either. Yeah. Some will seek power and influence. I always forget about the bad in this of world. To create empires. Others will begin hoarding as many resources for themselves as possible as they compete with other minds trying to do the same. But why? The longer they live, the less sympathy they may feel for simple meat beings. Oh my god. Or imagine immortal cult leaders who propagate lies and invent religions fine tuning and perfecting their dogma over hundreds this of years. This went south so fast. Bad, none of all that. I hope not. <laughs> minds are not made for immortality and I don't think they are. will just become rigid and unproductive and retire after a very long life having experienced a good argument they could ever want to. It's hard very to predict good how much good or bad a self-improving mind could do with hundreds or thousands of years of free time. While mind upload with all its wonders and horrors is beyond our current technological capabilities, you can use some of your free time in the present and experience one interpretation of this future right away by hitting the streets. This is really weird having a scientific uh, 
video Slide talk about a video world of graphics. The studio that brought I'm telling you, I, I haven't seen anything about this. Games of the last few years. Bro. You dive into a dark, dystopian future where are you going to tell me about it? Yes, please. Finding who and what we are. You can become part of this stunningly large world with immersive storytelling. Those graphics Here's are amazing. We haven't played the game yet, but when you see this video, <laughs> we're probably already doing so. If the past work of CD Projekt Red is any indication, then this will be an amazing game. Oh, this is, is cool. Why we did this collaboration and sat on this video for far too long. So if it's made you curious, check it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, yeah, the graphics of that game looks amazing. <laughs> but on to the actual video. Uh, yeah, it is. that's just crazy stuff just to even comprehend, like having a digital mind. Like I was thinking like you, actual you gets transferred into the computer, the digital mind, if you will. I just hit my light. Good thing nothing bad happened. But yeah, I was thinking that, like that road going to it. But no, it was, it's it's an entirely different you. And that's really cool, but really weird. Very weird. <laughs> it's just really, really cool stuff to think about. I can't even like begin to like scratch the surface of everything this video talked about. Because it is, it's really hot and heavy stuff to think about. Because like, like I said at the very beginning, like jokingly, like, are you your brain or is your brain you? Like, there's so much stuff to think about, like, just thinking about the brain itself. And it's, it's crazy, because, I don't know, I'm at lost for words, man. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. I love stuff about the brain so much, because there's, there's just so many possibilities, so many questions, so many everything about the brain. And it's just... Really, re I'm just, my opinion here, I'm just going to say it's impossible to, like, know it all. Like, what exactly is going up up in there? And, like, even he was saying, like, they cut a piece of a rat brain that is, like, the size of a large grain of sand. And even then, it was, like, how many freaking beyond tegabytes? Like, <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. And then just to process an actual human brain, like, not a piece of it, just the full human brain would be dumb. Like, so dumb, and it just gets me hyped, like, stuff like this. I love it so much, but I am not going to sit there and, like, lie to y'all guys and, like, basically tell y'all, oh, I know everything that he was talking about in the video. Like, no, like, but that's what I love about these videos. They make you question. They make you wonder. They make you, like, just think about everything, and I love it so much. I love it so much. This is probably, like, one of my favorite in a nutshell videos, like, just because the visuals were amazing, the soundtrack, I'm thinking the soundtrack was from the game, so I can't really comment on the soundtrack, but I loved it. I love the soundtrack, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to check out that game, looking more into it. I'm not just gonna buy it straight away, the, not that good advertisement in a nutshell, <laughs> but, yeah, regardless, really, really, really awesome video. I loved it so much, so thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below, because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, day.